hi I'm Ashley in today's video I'm going to show you how to embroider a stocking on your embroidery machine it's easier than you would think so today I'm going to be using my Mighty Hoop and my Melka so let's get started I'm going to be using a stocking from Wholesale Boutique some Target stickers these are from designs in machine embroidery and I'll show you why I use these for stockings especially my 5x5 five five Mighty Hoop I'm gonna be using some red thread, Madeira thread. I found the perfect red color. I have like a cherry red, which is this color right here, 1637. And then I have this gorgeous like dark red. This one is um, number 1747. Again, these are both Madeira threads and they're my go-to reds. I've got some um, tearaway stabilizer as well as water soluble topper that's super important especially if you have plush as well as my Melco EMT 16x embroidery machine and I will link all the supplies I use today in the description box below so let's go ahead and get started okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of our target stickers notice the arrow facing up that's super important so we are gonna find the center of our stocking where exactly we want that name or monogram to be and watch this we placed it now we are going to turn that stocking inside out and that shows us where we are going to stitch and which part is going to be up so we're going to have to rotate our design but sometimes once you have it like this you forget which way is up so this little arrow helps you so much when hooping so what i'm going to do now that i have my center i know which way it's going i'm going to take my five and a half inch um, by five and a half mighty hoop I'm gonna place it in it's a perfect squeeze and I'm gonna go ahead and place that in there um, right inside down and adjust it make sure I find my center make sure it's nice and smooth and we are gonna place the top part of our mighty hoop on making sure to face it the opposite way so face the front towards you and next, I'm gonna place um, some tearaway stabilizer in there. It was just hard for me to hoop it um, because it was slick material, so I'm just gently pushing in the tearaway and I'm gonna pin it um, to make sure not only it stays in place, but make sure that um, sides of the stocking don't shift and I don't have any bubbles or bulges. So I'm just gonna pin, making sure to stay out of the way of where we'll be stitching um, and just making sure I keep it nice and smooth and tight um, just help it keep it more, more secure um, when I'm stitching it. All right, so now it's ready to go on the machine. The stable art is ready and I've got the design loaded, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit the 180 degree rotate button because remember we hooped it upside down. So we are gonna go with that. Um, I'm gonna make sure my thread's okay. This was a super short name, so only 55 seconds. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place on the machine. Remember, facing the other way that we would typically do it, so we rotated it. We're making sure to get that stocking over that arm um, in the center, I'm not sure what it's called, but the center arm, making sure we don't stitch through the back, of course. Um, certain machines have um, bigger arms than others, so you might have a little more slack. The Melco has a tiny little arm, so there's plenty of room for stockings. Now what I'm doing is I am just finding that center mark with my laser, and I'm just gonna trace it out and make sure it's exactly where I want it, make sure it's not gonna hit my pins or my muddy hoop, and I'm gonna take that sticker off before I stitch. Don't stitch through the sticker. And then next, I'm gonna place my water-soluble topper on. Um, this one is not super fluffy, but I still love using it on plush items, especially if it's super fluffy and furry. Um, I have another video about super furry items, and I'll link right here above. But now that I have everything ready, we are ready to stitch. Look at that underneath view. Um, there's a view from the top, and we are just gonna get to stitching. So press go, and it's ready. The super quick name. Um, I love doing names and monograms. They're so quick and easy. So um, again, I will link everything I use today in the description box below. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it off the hoop. Don't worry, I didn't mess up. It's not upside down, and you're gonna freak out for a second your first few times. Um, I'm taking the Mighty Hoop off. I'm gently removing the water soluble topper. I'm removing the tearaway stabilizer, and I'm gonna trim up any stitches um, in a second, but I turn it inside out, um, and voila! 
you have done a stocking. It's not as hard as you would think. Um, so I'm just gonna trim up some of these stitches, um, make sure it looks nice and clean, and get on my way to make some more stockings. This is just one technique. There are many different techniques. Again, I will link another um, video I did using the upside down hoopy method I believe I was doing, um, as well as how to embroider furry, fluffy items. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe, and until next time, bye for now.